Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Eleven Labs API. First of all, open your browser, then type in your browser Eleven Labs dot io slash speech synthesis and hit enter and then you will land at the website but first make sure that you have an account and if you don't have one you will have to make yourself one by using your gmail now after that click on this resources button right here and click on api reference and you will be redirected to this window right here now on the left side we have this documentation right here which will tell us about how Eleven Labs produces TTS and some guides on how to do different stuff. You also have the API reference, the Python library and the community right here. Now in order for you to use the API, you will have to get your XI API key, which you can get by clicking on your profile picture. Let's just go back to the other tab and click on your profile picture right here. And after that, click on profile right here. And in here, you will have your email address right here. And you will see your API key right here. But make sure to not show this API key to anyone as they can gain control of your account. Now, you can also reset it by just clicking on this button right here. So I'm just going to do that. And click on confirm. And that will be reset within seconds. After that, you will have to just copy up this XI API key. Now, if you go back to the other page, in here you will have the text to speech API and the text to speech streaming API, which are basically programming commands and syntax. Now, if you want to use the text to speech API, you will have to copy this code right here. And if you want to use the streaming one, you will have to copy this code right here. Both the codes are same, but at the end of the code, you will have to just put in stream right here. You can get different codes for different languages from right here. For example, I'm just going to go for Python right here and show me the code for Python in here. Same is the case for text to speech API. You can go for Python, JavaScript. I'm just going to go for JavaScript. And this is the code for JavaScript. Now, if you scroll further down, you have different programming commands and syntax. For example, how to get generated items, you will have to use this code right here. You can also get the code for different programming languages by just clicking on these buttons right here. For example, you also have delete history item. You will have to use this code right here. Samples, delete samples, get audio from sample get user subscription info, get user info, how to get voices, default voice settings, get voice settings. Just click on that programming command and you will have to just copy this code from here. Get different code for different languages by just clicking on these buttons right here. And you can copy the code by just clicking on this copy button right here and that code will be copied. If you scroll further down, you also have different syntaxes for different purposes. For example, how to get projects by ID, add project, delete project, convert project, delete chapter, get chapter snapshots, stream chapter audio, get models, creates audio native enabled project. So there are a lot of codes of programming commands which you can copy by just clicking on these commands and copying them. Just make sure to get the correct XI API key from your profile, the voice ID you will be using and the correct syntax. So that's pretty much it and that's how you can use API of 11 labs. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.